Don't put words into my mouth, please. I didn't say exactly 14,000. I said around 14,000. Whereas Hamas will come out with precise uh, numbers that statisticians well, give me will a look at. Ballpark numbers for civilians. Ooh. Well, well, you can you can use the ballpark uh, as far as uh, the Hamas figures, which I reject as being false. Well, if they're so, false, why would uh, you give me those? <laughs> I had I gave you the the numbers that I had. No, you told me. You know. Ooh, Pierce Morgan is on fire. Wake me up when he misses. Oh my God. Ooh, what a way to twist the man and turn him all ways but loose. Ooh, Pierce Jebediah Ellsworth Morgan. Ooh, he falls into it. I'll give you some of this man puss. Ooh, ooh. Folks, I cannot say in good conscience that I've been a big fan of Mr. Pierce Morgan. First of all, his accent is off-putting. Nothing against the English accent, but just the way he the way he talks. There's a pompousness to the way that he says things that never sat well. I'm not saying that I hate the guy. He just always leaves a sizzle of unease in my spirit every time I uh, watch his interviews. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you that that ended today. My God. Pierce Morgan, today, on May 8th, 2024, put on a master class in journalism. My God. What I'm about to share with you is uh, we'll go down in the Mount Rushmore of interviews. The man was masterful. He was calibrated. He was insisting. Everything that you want in your reporter. I've never gotten so excited watching an interview. Behold, the great work of Pierce Morgan against I, have, uh, I believe his name is Avi Hyman. Avi Hyman is a spokesperson for the Israeli government, a man with the charm of, uh, of a hemorrhoid cream. You can see that there's no soul behind those eyes. A man who casually lies on television with absolute abandon. Rarely ever gets pushed back. But today, today Pierce Morgan showed that that kind of gallivantry shall not be tolerated on his program. Without further ado, Pierce Morgan and the devil himself. It's been a dramatic 24 hours in Israel's war on Hamas. First, Israel said it was finally preparing to enter Rafah, the southern Gazan city, which has become a refuge to a million and a half Palestinians. Allies have warned against it, fearing catastrophic civilian impact. But Israel says that Rafah is also the refuge for the remaining Hamas battalions. Last night, Hamas announced it would have accepted the term, terms of a ceasefire proposed by intermediaries, but Israel rejected it. And overnight, it seized Rafah's crossing with Egypt, a key entry point for vital humanitarian aid, and began attacking the east of the city. In a moment, I'll talk to Abi Martin and Mossad Hassan Youssef, but first from Jerusalem is Israeli government spokesman Abi Haim. Mr. Haim, thank you very much indeed for joining me. Why did Israel reject this uh, apparent offer of a peace deal from the mass that they'd agreed to. Hi, Piers, thank you so much for having me on. Um, I'm not sure what Israel has rejected. I know that Hamas put out uh, a statement that they had uh, accepted some kind of a proposal. It's uh, somewhat unclear to us what proposal they accepted. This was obviously, as my prime minister said in the Come last on, hour, man. Come a way on, of man. trying- Come on, man. You have no idea what proposal they accepted? What? So what is going on? Are, pe- are people are people drawing proposals on a napkin? Is there like a box where there's just a bunch of them? They're, what do you mean you don't know what proposal they accepted? And it's not the first person I've heard actually make, um, uh, you know, this argument. Because, yes, there, are, there were some changes to the proposal that was put forward. Because I think what Hamas is also trying to do 
is in the three, I guess they agreed to something like three hostages every three days or three weeks or something along those lines. But it could also include the dead hostages as part of that number. So it's not just the living, right? But to say that he doesn't know which proposal they signed, I mean, how many is there? How many proposals exactly is there in total? We're trying to torpedo our entry into Rafa. And as you said, the last four battalions of Hamas are in Rafa. Our war aims remain the same to destroy Hamas, bring home the hostages, and ensure that Gaza doesn't pose a threat to us. As the Prime Minister has said, with or without a deal, we're going to need to go into Rafa. So we entered Rafa. We're keeping the pressure up, the military pressure on Hamas. That's what worked last time when we got about half of the uh, hostages released. And that's what we're, we're doing now. We will keep up the pressure and explore all of the diplomatic channels. But at the moment, Hamas's position is far, far away from ours, sadly. How many civilians in Rafa of the one and a half million people there is Israel prepared to view as collateral damage Damn. to eliminate the remaining Hamas terrorists? Piers, as you know, the IDF does our absolute utmost to avoid civilian casualties. Um, just in the first day of the operation, we've taken 100,000 um, um, citizens, uh, civilians from Rafa, out of Rafa. Well, that leaves 1.4 million. Damn. Damn. See, right there, my man, you should have known that this is not the Piers that you used to. You know what I mean? You can see Pier Pierce came. He he he's he came to tussle. He's you see how quick he did that math? It's like it, that leaves 1.4 million. What you gonna do about that? You know? And I had this argument of like, oh man, we, we you know the IDF does the utmost. The uh, well, <laughs> doesn't look like it, Tuts. It really doesn't look like it. You know? And the fact that he seems shocked and almost annoyed that he's asking. We took a hundred thousand out. Yeah, there's 1.1 million left. What are you going to do with those? Okay, and it's a it's a work in progress. So uh, I well, can my tell question, you that... You know, my question is that you're, you're trying to eliminate Hamas completely, but in the process, already you've pretty much destroyed most of northern Gaza. You've already killed up to 40,000 people, depending on whether you accept the, uh, the Hamas-run uh, health authority numbers. Obviously, a number of those people uh, are Hamas, and a large number are innocent civilians, women and children. And if you go into someone like Rafa, which has a million and a half people who've been told to go there by Israel, who've been displaced from their homes, which have been destroyed in the main, and gone to this refugee camp, how many could die before Israel says, we can't continue this operation? Uh-oh. Piers, we're fighting against Hamas, a genocidal terror organization. I've seen your coverage, your tremendous coverage of what Hamas did to us on October 7th. You and I know they want to do it again and again and again. That's their words, not mine. Now, we'll do what we have to do to go after Hamas, to avoid civilian casualties, something that we have successfully done. Out of that Hamas number that you just gave, more than 14,000 are terrorists that we took out. There's more than 25,000 Hamas and Islamic Jihad terrorists how taken many, off so the How back. many civilians do you believe you've killed? We, we don't have exact figures, as you know, it's the fog of war. But you've got exact numbers for Hamas terrorists media. you've killed. Why wouldn't you know how many civilians you've killed? <laughs> because... Pierce Market! Ooh, this is when he got you in his tentacles. So you seem to be quite certain of the number of Hamas terrorists that you've killed. But somehow, the number of civilians, it's the fog of war. How are you counting this? Because according to you, they're being used as human shields. You can't tell which is a terrorist, which is a civilian. But you seem to know the exact number of terrorists, but not the number of civilians. How, how, are, you, how are you differentiating them outside of the guns? How exactly are you differentiating that? Pierce Morgan. Ooh, I'm wet. Mm. Because obviously our focus is to go after the Hamas terrorists and uh, no, we hang on. I mean, that does imply that you, you're putting a bigger premium on killing Hamas terrorists in terms of numbers and accountability than you are on innocent civilians. That can't be right, surely. If you know exactly how many Hamas terrorists you've killed, you must know how many civilians you've killed. Otherwise, you're prioritizing mm -hmm. the lives of terrorists over innocent people. 
Piers, with respect, don't put words into my mouth, please. I didn't say exactly 14,000. I said around 14,000. Whereas Hamas will come out with precise uh, numbers that statisticians well, give me will a look at. ballpark number for civilians. Ooh. Well, of well, you can you can use the ballpark uh, as far as uh, the Hamas figures, which I reject as being false. Well, if they're so, false, why would uh, you give me those? <laughs> I had I gave you the, the numbers that I had. No, you told me and you I, know. Pierce Morgan is on fire. Wake me up when he misses. Oh my God. Oh, what a way to twist the man and turn him always but loose. Oh, Pierce Jebediah Ellsworth Morgan. Oh, he falls into it. I'll give you some of this man puss. Oh, ooh, ooh. that was masterful. That was masterful. He's trying to get him to commit to numbers, and this guy is swerving. He looks like a goat being strangled by a, by a boa constrictor of journalism. Mm, mm, mm. No, you know how many Hamas terrorists you've killed, but you don't seem to have any idea how many civilians you've killed. I'm just bemused. Why wouldn't you keep count of both? I don't have that information to give you, uh, Piers. If I did, I well, would. You've literally no idea how many civilians you've been killing. I can tell you definitively that our aim is to go after Hamas. No, hang on. I, I, I'm sorry to push you on this. That's quite extraordinary. You're an official spokesman for the Israeli government, and you have no idea how many civilians you've killed. God I thought you damn. just told me that you were... God, why are you here? Why are you here? You are on television as a spokesperson. That's because you've been telling us. You've been telling us that you were the most, the most humane army. The most humane. They, uh, civilians have never been so happy in conflict than they were in this one. So how do you explain to me how, what, what, how, how are we coming to these numbers? How is it that you're the most humane army, but you don't know what kind of damage you've done? Is, is it just like an internal feeling? Is it just like a thing? It's a vibe? We're going to say it's a vibe? God damn. And, and Mr. Hyman, what, why are you on television if you don't know nothing? Who sent you? Because you're there to answer the questions of the world. How many civilians have you killed is a pretty straightforward number. God damn. I'm particularly careful about not killing civilians. But if you don't know how many you've killed, how can you say that with any certainty? Because mm. even if you were to go by a ratio of the Hamas figures, we would still be far ahead of any That wasn't Western my question. Army. You know it wasn't my question. I, I, don't, I don't have the information. Well, you literally have no the, idea how many civilians you've killed. It's not that I don't know. I'm not authorized to give the information. I don't have the information. That's complete you. nonsense. Why are you authorized to give me the number of terrorists you've killed, but not the number of civilians? <laughs> Ooh, 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 Pierce Morgan is playing 4D chess. He's playing 4D chess. This guy is lost. This guy is lost. He, 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 I, am, I am positive that as soon as he walked into the office, his boss just grabbed him by the throat and put him against the wall. He got choked the fuck out. Oh my God, Pierce! Ooh, Pierce! Pierce Morgan, sir, 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 sir. What a! Oof. I keep calling him masterful, but I need to find. I need to find a new name. This, this was beautiful. This was beautiful. I am nailing you to your talking points because Pierce Morgan has been hearing these talking points all the time, so he's able to react quick. He's fast on his feet. This guy didn't take his nap. Missed lunch. Hmm. Understand. Can you explain? <laughs> this. Ah, <laughs> this guy's brain literally turned off. It literally turned off. But if you don't know how many you've killed, how can you say that with any certainty? Because even if you were to go by a ratio of the Hamas figures, we would still be far ahead 
of any that wasn't my Army question. You know, it wasn't my question. I don't. I don't have the information. Well, you literally have no idea how many civilians you've killed. It's not that I don't know. I'm not authorized to give the information. I don't have the information. That's to complete give you. nonsense. Why are you authorized to give me the number of terrorists you've killed, but not the number of civilians? I don't understand. <laughs> This guy began to buffer. You ever seen a human being buffer? Like his brain just stopped. I bet you there was a voice in his head that's like, if I just stand still, could I stop time and go back and never do this interview? He's for sure getting fired. They're bringing back that other little prick. They have to. They have to. This guy has no idea what he's doing. There's no idea what he's doing. He has wet his pants. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 my God. It's just beautiful to watch. It's beautiful. Can you explain? Piers, we will go after Hamas. We will ensure that we... Um, you want me to believe you're being incredibly careful about how many civilians you're killing and you have an amazing exemplary record, but you don't know how many civilians you're killing. So how do I know you've been careful? Piers, when the dust settles, we will come out with the proper numbers. Hamas runs to the press daily but you, with hey, false... When the dust settles, a lot of people will have died. And you know how many Hamas you've killed, but you don't know how many civilians you've killed. And I'm just asking you why. Why is it you've kept a record of one, but not the other? Damn. I, I personally don't have that information to give to you. You can ask me over and over. I'm not going to come up with more information. I don't so you, personally you don't have know. Information. I don't have that information piece. Well, you're an official government spokesman for the Israeli government, and you have no idea. Piers, I, I, I came on here to focus on what's going on with the well, war. Well, actually, you came on here to that. answer my questions, uh, I think. Yeah, and, and I, I don't have an answer for you to that. And so. I didn't intend to press you on this point because I assumed that you would not respond the way you have. But I've never had yeah. an Israeli spokesman who simply said, I, I have no idea. Particularly after you boasted about that. the fact that you've been very smart in the way you've avoided killing civilians. How do you know if you've got no idea how many you've killed? Because I know the way in which the IDF operates. I know um, the way in which we go after the terrorists in the best possible way. It's not what I've said. It's what General Petraeus has said. It's what um, John Spencer from uh, West Point has said. Mm. It's, it, 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 it's what uh, multiple uh, British generals have said. Israel goes out of its way to avoid civilian casualties. That's what we'll do. If you can point to me to another um, conflict by which they have um, evacuated, got out of harm's way civilians to the extent that Israel has done, then fine. If you you put, want to sorry, with respect, Mr. Hyman, how can you possibly expect me to accept any comparisons to any other conflict or war, given that you do not know how many civilians you've killed? Damn. Piers, you understand that uh, I can't uh, prosecute the war over the over the media. I'm I just asking you for basic I'm not, I'm basic not information. I'm just I'm so, honestly, I'm just I do, I'm not trying to trap you, and I'm not trying to unfairly harangue you. I think people are watching this and they'll make their own conclusions. Too late, Mr. Morgan. The trap was set when this boy put on his briefs this morning. <laughs> oh no, certain traps just lay themselves. They just lay themselves. Oh, 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 this is just, oh, chef's kiss. I just find it astonishing that the moment I asked you how many Hamas you killed, you could tell me immediately. And the moment I ask you about civilians, you haven't got a clue, literally. That you're not even prepared to issue a ballpark number. And I, I think people will find that staggering, particularly given that you are insistent that you're doing everything you can to avoid killing civilians. To which, again, I just simply ask, how do you know? If you don't know how many you're killing, how can you possibly be sure that you are, A, doing better than other, other people waging war elsewhere, or B, that you have any idea how many you're killing? You, you don't, clearly. The IDF monitors every single um, action that it takes. It weighs out the options. It doesn't tell every, you, the official and, spokesman. And it, avoids, and it avoids civilian casualties in the best possible way. How do you like know, said, Mr. Hyman? Even, even if you were to take it, uh, please. Even no, if you're please, allowed, you, sorry, with respect, you come on here as the official Israeli government spokesman and, and you, you don't want to be asked how many you've killed because you don't know. 
and yet you want us to draw comparisons to other conflicts in a positive no. way for Israel. And you want to tell me that IDF make a, a record of every single thing they're involved in, but they don't give it to you, the government spokesman. So that <laughs> when I ask you, you have no idea. Ah, uh, Morgan, let's go. Oh my God. Why are you here, sir? You telling us that you keep a record of everything. Every single action is logged. Yet, you don't have the most. The, there's probably nothing more important to log, other maybe than dead IDF soldiers on your end, than the number of civilians your conflict has taken. Especially if you're gonna tell people that this is the most moral war ever waged. So if you don't have many civilians are killed, how do you know you're killing less than anybody else? Oh. Yes, mock. <laughs> Do you understand how ridiculous that sounds? With respect. With all due respect, I've told you that even if you were to use the Hamas figures, the ratio would still be better than any other army, and that's where the comparison can be done. However, we know above and beyond that that the Hamas figures are not accurate, and we know from former uh, conflicts that Hamas throws in. Uh, anyone that's, you know, someone could have passed away from a heart attack, someone could have... Uh, so why is you know, it that Israel actually, actually after issue, previous... After they've pre done in the past. Well, why is it after previous death tolls have been released by Hamas through the Palestinian Health Authority, uh, they've actually turned out to be ones that Israel has concurred with in the main? Do, can you not count either? Piers, we're in the fog of war. We're fighting for our very existence. But you're not foggy when it comes to killing terrorists. You're only foggy, it seems to me, when it comes to killing civilians. We're, we're fighting as a terrorist organization that spent the last 16 years embedding itself underneath and within a civilian population. They're fighting from mosques, from hospitals, from UN facilities. I, I don't know if there's a comparison of any war in modern history um, in which a terrorist organization has embedded its way itself the way that Hamas has in Gaza. We are doing our very utmost to go after Hamas. And like I said, when the dust settles, you will see that. Okay. Uh, Avi Harman, the Israeli government wow. spokesman. Thank you very much. Wow. You, sir, are out of the job. It is the bread line for you, my friend. Oh. Oh, Pierce Borg. Bravo. That's all I can say. Bravo. It was just... Mm. Nah. Mm. Journalistic pornography. That's, what, that's, that's just what it was. I, I jizzed in my pants a little bit watching this interview. It was just, it, it was just the counter-punching, not letting him slide with it. Because that's the problem with this Israeli spokesperson, man. It's just, it's the slyness, it's the sly of the tongue, the same goddamn talking points over and over. They're using, the using them as human shields. They're just the same thing. They're embedded into the population. We, we can't see them. We know how many terrorists we've killed, but the civilians, who can count? Who can count? We're in the fog of war. We are in the fog of war. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And and news agency after news agency lets these people get away with it over and over without actually pressing them. How many times have you sat in front of your TV or your computer, or your phone, and just yelled at it? Just yelled at it. You're like, what are you talking? Because you had a, a follow-up question that the journalist that was talking to the person didn't have. Pierce Morgan fixed that today. He said everything that we were screaming from the couch, he took it and he put his beautiful English charm on it, and voila, a masterful assassination. Good on you, Pierce Morgan. Good on you for taking on this preposterous man and giving him the ass open he deserves. Thank you, sir. Thank you.